All right, let's go straight to my panel night now. Sky News hosts Paul Murray and Liz Stora on set. Great to have you both here. All right, let's talk about the Bombers. What's your thoughts on this? I don't even know what their symbol is that they would be changing. but (laughs) They shouldn't change it. I'm with Lloydie. It's a fighter plane. You can't have something that fights these days, Shari. I'm with Lloydie. Don't change it. Now, look, former President uh, Donald Trump has broken his silence. He's given an exclusive interview to Fox News talking about his indictment last week over these classified documents. He's been charged with espionage charges instead of the Presidential Records Act. Let's have a look at what he had to say. There was no document. That was a massive amount of papers and everything else talking about Iran and other things. And it may have been held up or may not, but that was not a document. I didn't have a document per se. There was nothing to declassify. These were newspaper stories, magazine stories, and articles. I'm just saying what the indictment said. Paul, sometimes when he gives interviews, you're not sure if he's helping explain the matter or, or not. But, but either way, look, do you think he would be getting worried at this point that this would be hurting his chance of getting back into the White House? Look, he's going to get the Republican nomination and unless he is found uh, guilty and jailed before November of next year, that is definitely going to happen. You can't see any erosion in his support anywhere. Um, Those of us who thought that sort of DeSantis was the different way of getting the Trump result, the reality is is that his decisions that he made in and around abortion, he introduced an abortion ban at six weeks, that doesn't play in the places that he needs to flip to get a different result than Trump, Mm. which means it's going to be Trump all the way. As for this particular interview, um, one of the many defences is, well, I'm innocent of the law I wasn't charged under. Uh, which is the Presidential Records Act. Instead, yeah. they didn't get him under that. They got him under the possession of, of, de- of yeah. defence uh, things. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, the difficulty here is that when he gives interviews and when he gives speeches, all of that can be used in a courtroom later. So mm. there may or may not have been a document that was or wasn't held up. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. Liz, what do you think? Because he said there, uh, uh, you know, um, he was asked, why didn't you just hand the classified documents back when you were asked? He said, oh, he was too busy. busy. He was busy and some (laughs) of them had, you know, golf um, hats and various other things in it. Yeah. But, But, you know, ultimately, yes, he's guilty of this, but haven't other presidents done similar things. Hillary Clinton with her emails. Joe Biden has also taken classified documents. I'm not coming to Trump's defence here. I'm just saying, isn't there a hypocrisy? If if, if one president's going to be charged, shouldn't they all be charged? The dichotomy we see with the way mainstream media treats the Democrats versus Trump is just unbelievable. We know that Hillary had an FBI entire investigation. The FBI director then got up and said, yes, we found a great many classified documents, the emails on her server, some of which were class top secrets. So do you mean to tell me that she couldn't have been charged under the Espionage Act? etc and so on nothing came of it same when boxes of documents were found classified documents were found in biden's garage just goes up in smoke absolutely nothing to see here but like you just said if they can get this guy trump imprisoned before november next year mm. uh then he can't run well, well, and that, that seems actually to be the well, it's actually funny you said that. About that he yeah. can run he actually can run. There's nothing to suggest. The only the only restrictions are you have to be From born the in. Bars, he believe can it run. or not, you can, you can be born <laughs> in the born uh, born in the United States and have to be over 35. He qualifies for both of those. What is also amazing is mm. if he ever ends up in jail, he still maintains Secret Service protection. So so amazing. imagine going into jail <laughs> with a couple of members of the Secret Service. You'll be boss of the yard by the end of the day. Yeah. 